<laughs> okay, so this is what I gave to my uh, small group last time. So maybe I'm going to apply it here. And I hope that everyone here enjoy what I gave today. Yeah. So everyone, I'm going to describe a thing. Yeah. Uh, and that thing is um, next to me and uh, near me. And you have to guess what is uh, what thing that I am describing like that. Okay. Okay. So start from the first uh, object here. Wait, I want to see you all here. Okay. I am a thing. Yeah. If you know the answer, raise your hand. Yeah. I am a thing. I am small. Uh, it is important for teacher to have it. And mostly they use this to do a correction. I mean, like, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait. Um, a pen. A password. pen. Miss Zero. Maybe, yeah. Miss maybe? A pen. Zero. That is a Zero. pen. I am a pen. Yay, very good. <laughs> One point for Miss Mediana. Okay, I'm going to give about five um, objects, yeah? One already, so I still have four more things that I need to describe to you. Okay. Next. <clears throat> Again, I am a thing. It is small also. You can put it inside your bag. And it helps you to, what is it? To uh, make your phone always staying on like that. Uh, you really right. need this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. What is it? Charger. Charger. Yay. You got one point, Miss E. Is. Oh my God, I'm so nervous yeah, because I haven't <laughs> ready yet. Okay, next. Um, Okay, next, I am a thing. The color mostly is gold. Yeah, it's not a gold actually. <laughs> uh, sometimes it can be black, red, or transparent like that. And you can have this thing when you win a competition. What am I? Yeah, it's again, yeah. I saw it is again. What is it? Metal. Metal, maybe the other one. Uh, almost, almost. Trophy. Miss, miss. Trophy. Wait, wait, wait. Trophy. 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 Yeah. Okay, so everybody got one point. Yeah, I haven't mentioned your name. <laughs> Yay. Everybody got one point. Two more objects, okay? Mm, wait. Okay. Next, I am a thing. But this time... You can eat me, okay? You can eat this. It is made from, uh, what is it? Well, yeah, and if I'm not mistaken. Mm, and then usually people outside uh, our country, like I mean the native likes to eat this uh, to be their <laughs> uh, food to, in breakfast like that. Miss East again, I saw you, raise your hand first. What is it? Cereal? No. Bread. Miss Ratna? Biscuit? No. Miss Rini? Bread. Bread. Yay. Good job, Miss Rini. <laughs> one more. Yeah, one more. Wait, what do I have here? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay. I am a thing. Uh, I am in the form of liquid. And since the pandemic, people always use me to make sure. Okay, okay, wait. Miss Myla. Hand sanitizer. Yay, very good. It's hand sanitizer. Miss Myla got one point. So I guess uh, the winner will be no one, yeah? <laughs> Because no one of you got more than one. Point. But before I gave you one point, right, everyone? So Miss Myla got two points. Miss E is got two points. And then Miss Rini got two points. Yeah. So the winner are three students here. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Sophia, <laughs> for the 
chance for me to give the ice breaking. Okay, thank you, Miss Yeni, Yeni, and Miss Nanny. Do you guys relative or no? No. Mm -hmm. Sorry. sorry? Okay. <laughs> Do you guys relative or no, Miss Yeni? You guys. Okay, <laughs> just, just leave it. Thank you, yeah, Miss Yeni, uh, for leading us to do the ice breaking. And then I hope Miss Nanny, wow, it's kind of scary. Look at that. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I'm going to uh, make a spotlight here for Miss Nanny. Okay, look at that. We can't even see your face, yeah, Miss Nanny. <laughs> Okay, I hope you're going to uh, what is it? Change the background, yeah, Miss Nanny Fadila. Okay, yes, everyone, thank you, thank you Miss Nanny Yeni, and then also uh, Mr. Harry for leading us to start the session. Yeah, the sessions on Saturday it is a very challenging sessions, yeah, because uh, schedule on the weekend. It is something that really uh, you guys hate it, maybe, yeah? Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala asrafil anbiya wal mursalin. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Amma ba'ad. Okay, all my fellow English department students, especially is the joining this PPG Dalja. Uh, so today it will be our fifth or sixth meeting yeah, for the second cycle. And then I got a message from Bang Ali, our class admin, that he told me, Miss Gipta Baladina. Uh, asking permissions because this school here got the advanced agenda. Okay, this kind of uh, permission, I'm not going to give any permissions for this kind of the program. Yeah? Uh, because uh, attending outbound activity and then skipping your guys' main uh, priority, I guess, with this PPG the program, uh, I'm not gonna give the permissions, yeah, and and then it will be the same like uh, all the rest of you that mentioning you have some kind of wedding invitations, wedding ceremony that that kind of reason that I'm not gonna give any excuse for it, yeah, because uh, you guys can attend the wedding invitations or you can. Join the advanced activities after joining this class. Okay, everyone. And then looking at all of your guys' face, only uh two or three of the students that smiling, and then the rest of you, it's still like okay, you still need more sleep, I guess. Yeah, and then look at <laughs> Mr. It's Iksa as well, and then also Miss We and then Miss Wee Wee. And today, Ms. Ratna Nuriani, see, you have a very different kind of uh, look, yeah? not like the previous one, the shining one. Okay, everyone, for today's meeting, before we are going to uh, start this discussion, I'm going to lead the ice breaking. And then this is an adult kind of ice breaking, yeah? not like uh, all of your guys' ice breaking. Yeah? Just moving your finger and then uh, what is it near you? Blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. Okay, my eyes breaking it will be. I'm gonna pick uh, all the brilliant from this class. All of you guys are, are brilliant. I'm gonna pick some of you and then you're going to share with us. Yeah, what is it that you guys really grateful with? Yeah, on Saturday morning when we have today's sessions. I'm going to start with uh, Mr. Iksan. Okay, come on, Mr. Iksan. Would you please share it with us? And then I hope you're going to share only the happiness, something that really trigger you that have the motivation, that uh, got the spirit in the morning. 
Come on, Mr. X. Well, wait. Okay, thank you for this opportunity, Mr. Ian. So, uh, uh, to start with, I'm speaking, sir. Okay, would you please tell us what is it? Something that you really grateful with, uh, so you can start the day with smiling, and then you can have a good motivation in attending the session. Yeah, something that when you remember, okay, uh, you're going to open up your uh, big smile. Okay, come on, anything. Oh well, uh, that's a it's a different point of view, I think. <laughs> Okay, first of all, uh, talking about uh, motivation, uh, that I would, uh, the thing that I, I would like to start with. Uh, yeah, normally when I would like to enter the class before, I have to, you know, like, uh, exercise my, uh, you know, face exerciser. <laughs> okay, so like, yeah, everything. Uh, and of course, prior, the, that's the first thing that I, ha that I have to do. And then the next one, like a uh, face exercising, and then of course, and just, you know, like uh, stay, keep smiling in front of your students. So just ignore the things that uh, you think, you are thinking right now, that's the first thing. And then the second part, um, what is second part? Sir, actually, I'm still doubt. Oh, I have to answer it. <laughs> is should I give? Should I give a um? Should I give a like ice breaking today? Or just no? Just answer right? my question. Okay. So, oh yes. Like, uh, okay, so that's the first thing. Point that. Oh, okay, I'm gonna switch okay. it with the next one. <laughs> Come on, Mister. Yeah. Come on, okay. What's something that made you grateful for today? Okay. Uh, yeah, of course I can. I can wake up uh, uh, um, earlier because I wake up. I woke up at four, so uh, I can fix the things that uh, in my house. Uh, so then I continue preparing for this session. So I, I mean, the things at at home already done. So. The, that's make me happy that first one and then continue the next one that's it sir so if i make sure that everything at home already done and then that's why the motivation uh when i come to school the same thing so if everything at home already done and then uh i make sure that uh, i already make the list first uh uh that the day that i would like to do so it at least help me to make it uh happy that's it sir I think for me. Okay, thank you. thank you very much. So you are not a really romantic kind of uh person, yeah? Okay. Uh, let me I, give sir, you I'm not a romantic person, sir. Honestly, <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Okay. What I'm really grateful for today here uh, in this morning, even if we have the session on the weekend, everyone, yeah. One thing that I'm really grateful with, I can still see Miss Christina smiling over there. Yeah? And then, <laughs> yeah, and then looking at her, can't wait to join the session. And then looking at Miss Dwee here, it seems like her face mentioning, okay, so let me uh, be the first in giving my, uh, what is it, in giving my, explanations, elaborations for the student who works it. Yeah? That's something that made me grateful. Yeah? I still have some students that really want to join the sessions and then uh, got a joyful thing in attending the lesson. That way, that's what I mean. Yeah? Okay, and then Mr. Iksan, something that you really grateful with, wake up. Yeah, that's uh, simple and then I hope you're going to share something that meaningful, maybe, yeah? And then uh, that will lead you to keep up sharing your best mind while attending the session. Okay, now let's try with the most beautiful uh, princess that we got here, Miss, Miss, 
Miss Sylvie, if I'm not mistaken. Eh? Hello, Miss Sylvie. Hello, Miss Sylvie. Are you there? Miss Sylvie? Yes, yes, me. Uh, confused. Okay, what is <laughs> confused with? Okay, uh, would you please share it with us here, yeah? my dear Miss Sylvie? Uh, what is it? Something that uh, you're gonna say thanks, yeah, big thanks. Come on, that you really grateful with today. Uh, I don't know. You have no idea. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, what's something that gonna make you say thank you? Massive thanks, yeah. Come on, any kind of conditions, any kind of uh things that happen to you. Come on. Oh, what's me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't... Okay, I'm let's try to get more example then. Uh, to Miss Mediana. Okay, hello, Miss Mediana. Okay, come on, Miss Mediana. Will you please uh tell us? Okay, <laughs> uh, you are asking me about uh, one good things that uh, I can start it with uh, my activity on this Saturday uh, because later on, actually, I have a plan to go together with my husband. <laughs> so uh, I think I need to, to do everything uh, in the morning so I can uh, do something fun, something excited together with my husband, which is uh, uh, rarely to do yeah, in a daily uh, days because we are busy with our own work. That's it, Mr. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Sopian. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Miss Mediana. You're mentioning your husband. Okay, so you are, uh, what is it? You are a lover, yeah? Not like Mr. Iksa, not like uh, Miss Sylvie. Yeah? Uh, okay, I hope uh, this program or this uh, session on the weekend not going to disrupt any of your agenda with the husband. Okay, and then I hope you're going to make that one as the reward for yourself and then also for the husband after working on really hard, yeah? Teaching in the school, joining the big adult job, and then this Saturday you're going to do a healing kind of trip uh, with your uh, husband. Thank you very much, yeah? And then uh, I'm really sorry because uh, maybe you're expecting, okay, come on, we're going to start this and then we're going to end the meeting soon, yeah? Again, okay, Miss Media. <laughs> okay, and then now let's go with Miss Class Secretary then. Something that you're gonna say thanks, yeah, when you remember that one. Come on, Miss Nurmaila. Okay, thank you, Mr. Ian. Yes, well. <laughs> you pins me in this uh screens, right? Yes. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> And then next, uh, the things that makes me grateful to the God. The first one that, uh, for the first, uh, today I'm grateful because when I wake up in the mornings, my husband and also my kids, uh, give me a big hug when I wake up in the morning. That's the uh the ones, uh, what is it that I grateful to the God first, and then the second, the second ones, uh. I um I'm grateful when what is it today I still can hear my parents activities in the mornings and then the second ones uh okay the last ones that are uh, makes I grateful for today I can join in this class with you as my lectures Mr. Ian thank you that's all. Okay. Thank you very much. And then I got the meaning of your smile, Miss Christina, Miss Neneng, and then the rest of you guys. Yeah. Okay. So we have another family uh, wife here. Yeah? That's a good one. Waking up and then you are not the one that having your kids and then your husband and then you're waiting. Okay, come on, kids. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're expecting them to uh, hack you out. Okay, that's a good one. And then do you have any agenda for this weekend, Ms. Nurmaila? Uh, no, I just uh, want to school after these meetings because uh, the, I will, I will, what is it, um, uh, give 
uh, the reports to my students midterm test. Oh, guys. Yes. Uh, and then after that one, I hope you're going to uh, contact Miss Mediana. Maybe you guys can do a double date. Yeah? <laughs> that would be a good one. Huh? Okay, thank you, Miss Nurmaila. Thank you, Mister. Okay, one more. Uh, one more. What happened with your case, Miss Is Solita? Hello, Miss Is. Okay, uh, come on. More husband mentioning, please. Miss Is Solita, your turn, please. Okay, thank you so much for the time, Mr. Ian. Anyway, I'm just thinking about uh, what am I grateful for today? <laughs> so uh, suddenly you just mentioned it. Um, okay, so the first time, uh, the thing that I really make uh, grateful today is I can open my eyes and then beside me, there are two children of me that are uh, really... What is it? Uh, they are in, in good condition. They are in healthy. So it makes me grateful for today. And the second one is, um, I can, I think I can do all my activities in the morning smoothly. That's it. So I think it's really grateful for today. And the next one is, I'm really grateful I can join in, in this class with you, Mr. And also with all my uh, friends here. So, uh, I, I think in this class, it will be my support system that uh, can make me always spirit and also to be uh, more motivated to do in every single session in this class. I think that's it, Mr. Ian. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you very much, Mrs. Saliha. And then you're not mentioning the husband, you're mentioning the kids. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my uh, because my heart is not uh with me they are in the other town so yeah you know <laughs> so you have some kind of what is it long distance relationships then yes, yes exactly okay. so i have to yeah you know i'm so grateful okay so you are strong female teacher then okay yeah. thank you very much yeah that's what we need in the early morning, everyone. Remembering all the things, all the good things that happen to us. Uh, so I can see you guys face uh, switching. Uh, the previous one, it seems like, okay, I hate these uh, sessions. I hate having class on the weekend, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, this one, we can see how lovely Miss Yeni smile and then Miss Fatia and the rest of you guys. Okay, everyone, that was the yeah, icebreaking, an adult kind of icebreaking. Uh, you're not going to uh, use this one for some higher level students. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for sharing all the good things yeah, that motivate you guys in joining our sessions yeah, for today because uh, this program, the Figured Algebra program, <clears throat> The second cycle, it is only the repetitions of all the things that you guys add on the first cycle. Yeah, and then I'm 100% uh, certain and I'm sure that you guys, okay, feel some kind of boredom, yeah? Bored, and then uh, you guys have to join this meeting, yeah? No matter what, even if you like it, even if you had it, yeah? Because this one of your guys' uh, priority. That's why when some of you guys picking another agenda and then skipping the class, uh, it's been this session, this adult program here is not something that important. Yeah? Okay, everyone. Thank you very much. And then now let's go with the stuff. Yeah, with the first. Uh, students, I uh, still remember, I'll be ready tomorrow, sir, blah, blah, blah. And uh, that was from Miss uh, Dwee. Let's give a round of applause, everyone, for Miss Dwee to open up her work sets, yeah? And then uh, there will be no more excuse, Miss Dwee, uh, because you already gave your comments, yeah, yesterday. Come on. Come on, time is yours, please, Miss Dwee. Okay, but I think I will be the second or the third, sir. No, the first, please. Okay, okay, okay. Should I tell what I thank for today? 
what I grateful for yeah. today. Okay, come on. What is it? What is it? Your husband also asking you to uh visit some kind of uh videos, some kind of the garden or what is it? No. Okay. So anyway, I just want to tell that uh yeah, my husband asked me to always write down 10 things that I thank today. So like, yeah, every day I write down uh, what I thank, but not only three things, but it should be 10 things, sir. Okay, so uh, I will, should I mention? <laughs> okay, come on, just mention it. Okay, okay. Yes, mention. yeah. Okay, so anyway, I yeah, I thank Allah because I have a husband, a kind husband, and uh, I get hug from my husband and my kids today, uh, two kids, and I can uh, drop my kid to school, which is in my school now. So I now actually is in, I now, I am now actually at a school and I'm sorry if it's a little bit noisy because there is agenda uh, which yeah I drop my kid so I thank Allah because I can drop my kid today uh, to school and I thank Allah too I'm healthy uh, my husband and my kids are healthy too and I can join PPG in this very beautiful morning. That's thing that I thank Allah because, yeah, as we know, not all teachers can ha have this kind of chance or opportunity. And then, yeah, uh, that's actually, uh, this is the earlier of the day, so I can only mention that and later in the uh, in the night I will yeah I will always have it uh, for 10 things that I grateful and should I be the first sir yeah you'll be the first come on okay okay so uh let me share it thank you so much for the time everyone here Mr. Ian too yeah so bismillahirrahmanirrahim uh, mr ian uh, this one is uh, my process because it should be submitted on monday right so uh, this is my process uh, i have already uh, had my process in this one so the first bismillahirrahmanirrahim uh, the exploration of the root of the problem the literature review i took from uh, the five years update uh, however i still uh, add uh, the 2016 because i think it's uh, related to my problem so the first about handling an energetic student an energetic student tends to disturb some friends during the lesson so the literature review uh, so it's about the strong motivation teacher believe that hyperactive students should be able to socialize independently the importance of the role of parents in guiding and giving trust to hyperactive students and proper handling and approaching are needed so yeah uh, i agree i do agree with mr hari yesterday uh, told me uh, or suggested me to have bonding with uh, the students as well as Miss Christina in the learning management system um, stated about that, about bonding to uh, the students. So yeah, uh, as uh, we know that, yeah, I have to uh, have uh, that kind of bonding to the student. So the next, uh, the most appropriate learning method by giving psychomotor activities, applicable reward and punishment, and also sitting arrangement properly. So this one, uh, the things that I've already done, and I hope I can do it again later. And for this uh, energetic student, uh, I should give the task, uh, I should give him task 
And then hyperactive children can be cured with appropriate and sustainable treatment. They can socialize with normal students. So the teacher tries to help handle it. And if handling is carried out uh, properly, then concentration and also self-control can be better. So yeah, uh, as a teacher, I should give a, what's that, good or correct treatment to this student. So I should really care about uh, this kind of student. And hyperactive children must be accustomed uh, to be able to socialize normally with peers, with these social skills. Children will get used to gathering with other students. So, yeah. So he actually, uh, the things that I uh, have already done, actually, uh, I saw that this student tried to ask the other student to play. So from this literature review, uh, we can see that actually this student just want to socialize with friends. However, uh, he didn't uh, do in the right time and the right place. And he, he needs to know uh, how uh, or when it uh, should be done. And then interview. Mr. Yan, do you listen to me? You close your video, <laughs> your camera. <laughs> and then the interview result. Head of Research and Development, uh, Mrs. Dian Purnamasari, uh, said that the teacher has to ask why he does inappropriate behavior during the lesson. So the teacher later needs to give tasks to the student as well. So uh, this one is uh, related to the literature review and also the head of global citizenship affair. Uh, Mr. Randy uh, said that the material is too easy for the student. The student is uh, competitive. And then from the mystery from Mr. Rio. So actually, Mr. Rio is the head of leadership uh, pillar in our school. So uh, about the students or kesiswaan. Uh, so he said that student is bored with the lesson too easy. The teacher should give enrichment. So based on uh, Mr. Randy and also Mr. Rio, I can conclude that yes, it's maybe it maybe the material is too easy because the student uh, was born in Melbourne and the speaking daily speaking is uh, speaking English. And then from Ms. Amel, my teacher, uh, my collaborative teacher, the student was born in Melbourne and tend to be bored easily from yeah, anyway, from the principal, yeah, since the the school, it's not excuse, but this is the fact, uh, since the school is having agenda right now, of we only have two days for it, and the principal uh, is really busy with this program this morning, so I actually want to have the interview after this, after this agenda, uh, because he is at school too. Uh, so based on the exploration of the problem, I can conclude that a hyperactive student should be able to socialize independently and uh, the and then the, the importance of the role of parents in guiding and giving trust to hyperactive students and proper handling and approaching are needed. So bonding with the student is very important. And then the student thinks that the lesson is too easy because uh, he was born in Melbourne, used the deal as being, I've already stated before anyway. And the positive, uh, dis positive discipline, uh, some students tend to be not disciplined. So uh, from the literature review, discipline is a must thing to do in inclusive, in inclusive class. So the teacher must be able to give understanding 
uh, to all class members about the special features of children with special needs. Yeah, actually, uh, this uh, kit is not special need, uh, not special need. However, this one is uh, the literature review that uh, I can find because the literature review is five years uh, from now. So this one uh, that I found and so disciplinary action will not interfere, interfere with learning activities and proper discipline such as giving punishment will be able to reduce child hyperactivity and uh, and then provision of good spiritual health a uh, spiritual knowledge i mean and concrete spiritual motivation can be a way for children to calmer to be calmer so this is effective to do and in line with psychotherapy using spiritual approach okay so uh, based on this i can conclude that uh, the discipline uh, should be done uh, in my school the positive discipline because from the interview result uh, from the head of research and development uh, she said that uh, they just want to try and test the teacher and how handle the students and uh, they are going to test the situation so uh, yeah this kind of student want to test the teacher and yeah want to socialize to with the other students and then the from the head of global citizenship affair at my school the students are not able to put inside the clothes yeah it's related to a problem uh putting inside the clothes so great two students some of them uh are not be able yet yeah, to put inside the cloth so it's not not discipline however it uh they need what's that they need habit or they need uh yeah habit to be disciplined to put inside the cloth uh disciplinely sorry with discipline and children's duty is playing so from uh, the head of global citizenship affair so uh, he said that, yeah, all children uh, needs all children need playing. So they need to play with the students, with the other student. However, yeah, they uh, do not know the right time. So for studying, actually, the for study, uh, actually, they have to. Uh, yeah, focus in study. Yeah, from Mr. Rio, the head of pillar, leadership pillar in our school. Uh, so they need uh, to be, what's that? They need to be different. So they, they are uh, trying to find circle and they want to be seen by the other students. So, so it's related to the first literature review they want to socialize and the use of a technology in the classroom the teacher needs better time management to prepare the use of technology in the classroom so from uh, the literature review i can i can see or i can uh, find that precisely the group of digital natives easily recognize their usefulness, but at the same time, the great distracting factor and waste of the time that they suppose. So yeah, the teacher needs to count the waste of time that may happen. So uh, yeah, I should uh, mind about that. And then in the result, so the teacher has to adapt with the technology and prepare the time management. Yeah, sorry, what's wrong? And then from 
the head of global citizenship affair. Uh, he said that the teacher is handful in administration staff or paperwork. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then he said that uh, the teacher needs to pre uh, really mind about the time management. And then from Mr. Rio, the head of uh, leadership pillar, he said that the teacher does not know the way. So actually I know the way. However, yeah, this is the possibility. And then from the fourth problem that I have, the teacher needs to be clear uh, in giving instruction when having singing song together. So the literature review. So from the literature review, I can see that the teacher can prefer to use short, complete sentence and precise and then concrete term so that the student will be able to understand what's expected of them. So I should, uh, I can conclude that I should use the short one, the simple one, the clear one and precise and concrete too, especially for students at grade two. And then a teacher might give direction and also find that their students haven't been paying attention or that the student only half grabs the instruction. So yeah, actually I've done uh, this kind of thing because yeah, before that, before the class uh, is started, I try to give rules and then really care about the students' attention. I do, um, what's that? I do mind about uh, the student because, yeah, they uh, should focus and they couldn't uh, bring anything uh, on the map or they cannot uh, play something. I mean, play, for example, pencil or eraser or those kind of things uh, in my lesson because they need to focus. I think this one, uh, what Mr. Ian do for us too, we have to focus. And then someone is smiling there. And then, <laughs> While well, good instruction giving is an essential part of an effective lesson and an important part of classroom management, it is a skill that is often overlooked in teacher training program and in classroom. And, and otherwise, strong lesson sometimes fails because instruction were not properly delivered. I think this one, uh, I, I still did this kind of thing so I should uh, make continuous improvement and then it is not enough uh, to assume that giving good instruction is a naturally acquired skill both uh, both uh, preservice and preservice and in-service teachers need to be attentive to good instruction giving practices and become aware of their own methods of delivery and how they can be improved. So I should uh, give good instruction and I should practice as well. And then aim your instruction to be a level or two below your student's current level and post after giving an instruction. So I should post first after giving instruction and allow learners time to absorb uh, the message. So I should give time for them to absorb uh, or to know or to think about the instruction or the message. So I later, I plan to uh, give question so what should you do something like that and then from the interview result from our head on head of research and development at our school so the teacher has less a knowledge of pedagogy so i should learn more and the pedagogy of the teacher has to be improved and i will improve it 
and then the head of global citizenship affair uh, said that the students do not pay attention to the teacher and the teacher does not ask the students understanding and the teacher does not write the, the instruction on the board. So in one instruction, I think in I will sometimes I will write down uh, the instruction too on the board. And then from the leadership pillar. Uh, so later I will translate it in English because I uh, had the interview with uh, this pillar leader with in Bahasa Indonesia. So from him, he said that guru belum memiliki kemampuan tentang materinya. And then from the teaching method, there were only three kinds of ice breaking, so it needs uh, more ice breaking with a body movement because uh, this one, the, this problem is actually related to the other problem. Uh, so it's about the students that are not disciplined. So I think uh, my ice breaking is what's that? My ice breaking should be added so yeah from the literature review uh the as breaking can be combined with learning methods such as joyful learning methods or other game technique because after doing these activities the concentration of the student learning becomes good and can stimulate a uh, student's absorption learning interest learning attention learning outcomes and can foster student learning spirit and obstacle faced include students less mastery of types of ice breaking, less creative curcule. So there is soft skill training based on ice breaking. So actually I know why Mr. Ian always give ice breaking during our lecture guys, because yeah, it can improve our soft skill too. And it can uh, improve our concentration so yeah, actually from uh, the ice breaking uh, that Mr. Ian has already given to us, uh, I can learn kinds of ice breaking. And yeah, sometimes I use it in my teaching learning process. And then from the interview result uh, from the head of research and development, uh, I think uh, he said, she said, she said that uh, the ice breaking is enough. There is no problem with it. And then from the head of global citizenship affair, uh, there is something wrong with the classroom management. The teacher should uh, choose uh, the appropriate ice breaking first uh, in the middle of the lesson retract to retract the focus and then ice breaking for the students uh attention it's in the beginning and then ice breaking to kill the boredom so if they if the teacher think that uh there will be boredom boredom of the student it needs to use body movement so yeah, uh, so actually I'm right to choose uh, to, what's that, to add uh, the more ice breaking to kill the boredom. And then from the leadership PLR head, uh, so the ice breaking is not appropriate to the student. So um, there is possibility, maybe the ice breaking is not appropriate. So yeah, later, yeah, that's why from that I can conclude that I should uh, yeah, manage the time so that I can uh, use kinds of ice breaking in the, in the beginning and then later in the middle of the, in the middle of the teaching learning process. And then when the student uh, looks bored, in the teaching learning process so yeah so that's why 
from that, I can conclude that I should manage my time and then I should prepare more uh, the teaching learning process. And yeah, I should uh, like uh, pay attention to this energetic student by yeah having good bonding with the student. So I think that's it. I hope, uh, yeah, I hope uh, you can enjoy my presentation. And thank you so much. Once again, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let's give a round of applause everyone for this week. Yeah. So uh, I like the way that you took what you told us yesterday. Yeah. You already share complete 13, 13 pages of the student worksheet 1.2 or 1.3 that you already completed. And then uh, mm. that's a good one, I guess. Uh, I hope you're going to still doing the share screen yeah? because we're going to get some kind of feedback, yeah. critic yeah. questions. Uh, I'm going to go with Mr. Harry first as the class captain as the chief of this class yeah uh, i hope you're going to give her some kind of feedback questions critics suggestions or anything that going to lead to the revisions for this uh, student worksheets come on mr harry yeah thank you so much for this opportunity mr sofian and thank you also for miss dwi astuti uh, thanks for enlightening me because i get many insights from your presentation yeah i think uh, global islamic school has a good support system for the teachers like you and then you have already conduct the interview to the most appropriate uh, person like RND division, yeah, there is RND division in your school, and after that, about I think you need to uh, get any insight from the PTA as well. I think is there any PTA in your school, sir, Miss Miss Dewi, Parent and Teachers Association? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah there is, there is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, because your problem, most of your problems is related to the student's behavior. So my suggestions is you can uh, consult not only to the school or student's counselor in your school, but also you can uh, conduct a dialogue or audience with the PTA, parent and teacher associations, like making a, what is that? Uh, agreement and then socialize the rules at school to make the students uh, be more disciplined for the next uh, because you can uh, do it by yourself it must be systemic and then the second one uh, actually I need to ask you something regarding to the sitting positions because in the my last uh, teaching practice after this I uh, ask them a reflection uh, online. There is one student who said me, who told me, Mr. Hari, I don't like with the sitting position in your lesson during uh, the last uh, lesson in the teaching practice. Yeah. Uh, my questions for you, because just now you mentioned in your literature review, my question is in what extent uh, do you think uh, the sitting positions will give a big impact or significant uh, impact to in the classroom yeah of course uh, with our lesson activity yeah i think that's it uh, miss dewi maybe you can answer my questions and respond my suggestions thank you okay. so much okay come on miss welcome you're welcome. So first of all, uh, I would like to say thank you so much, Mr. Hari, for the suggestion uh, to ask about uh, PTA, Parents Teachers Association, about the discipline. So the students should be disciplined. So anyway, yeah, uh, from that, uh, anyway, we have a uh, head of 
leadership pillar, Mr. Hari. So uh, we, anyway, from the head of leadership pillar, uh, always ask from, always concerned about the discipline. So the one who has already asked the students to be disciplined is the yeah head of leadership pillar. And then uh, every day, the teacher, uh, homeroom teacher especially in primary um uh, what's that report in the form who is late and who is not late so uh, about the discipline yeah we have uh, those kind of support system and then for PTA yeah I uh, thank you so much for your suggestion and then sitting position uh how it can impact uh, significantly to the teaching learning process so in my opinion mr hari it really impact the teaching learning process why because yeah sometimes when we ask the student to like uh, sit down on the table on the chair uh so the student likes to especially in primary likes to play the things and then likes to yeah likes to draw something like that because the pencil something like that is in uh front of them so one thing that we can do in at our school actually by uh when i give instruction yeah or i give explanation I and the teachers here and I uh, like to ask the student to sit down on the mat first, sir. So uh, they do not touch anything. They can focus. And yeah, why it really, why it is really effective? Because, <clears throat> yeah, it, it's uh, because uh, the students do not uh, touch anything. There is nothing in front of them. They can focus. And then uh, after sitting down, uh, when I had PPL, for example, I asked them again to sit down on the chair to, uh, what's that? To draw a poster. So, and then to have conversation or practice with friends. Uh, so they sit down there uh, on the chair. Uh, why I do not ask them to sit down on the mat? Because, yeah, I do believe that sitting position is very important. Uh, so on the chair, they can write down they can use the pencil that uh, they want to use and then uh, they can sit down properly uh, yeah with good uh, position of writing and then I never let my student to write down something on the mat and then yeah, sometimes I uh, have discussion with the student and then I ask the student uh, make a letter U, so like yeah, letter U position. So, uh, I will be I will be in front here in the middle of the discussion, so that the student uh yeah, although the student sit down uh on the mat on the chair with letter U and there is something on the table, I can still monitor them whether they play or not uh, during the discussion. So yeah, first of all, I should, uh, instead of uh, sitting position, I also actually ask the students to focus first, uh, not doing anything, not touch anything. That's the first rule to be disciplined, to be responsible. And then why uh, it's, it has significantly uh, impact. Yeah, because actually we have so many sitting arrangement, not only one, 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 when, like when we have tests. Actually at our school, uh, we like to have 
uh, seating arrangement one 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 when we have a test. Uh, so after that we have seating arrangement like two students or four or five students. Uh, why? Because they need socialization. Like in the literature review, um, uh, we see that they need uh, what's that? They need yeah socialization with friends so later in the teaching learning process they will not do it i mean they will not play with friends uh, they did not do they will not do uh, the things like some things in my class before this so uh, that's it uh, to prevent yeah the first why it's important the first is uh, for making the students know how to uh, when they should play they when they uh, should learn and then the second uh, to make the students understand uh, what they do what should they do for me they should understand that on the mat they should focus and listen to the instruction and explanation and then uh they for example on the mat they also uh, do like a uh, body movement like i before this had a uh, singing song together i did it on the mat so but if i make one 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 and there is no space to make uh teaching learning process like uh the body movement activity i think it will not effective in the teaching learning process. So I think that's it. And, and the last from me, uh, sitting arrangement like four or five students uh, or chair and table, it's for making the students uh, have socialization. So this, this is very important in primary because yeah, they need to build character first. I think that's it, sir. I hope I... Thank you so much, Miss Dwi. But let me to confirm something, Miss Dwi, okay, regarding okay. to the that ice break mm -hmm. that we are going to set in the learning process or the mm -hmm. learning uh, sure. planning, mm -hmm. uh, teaching planning for the next. Mm -hmm. I have an experience uh, around five or six years ago when I taught in an SPK in Jakarta, mm -hmm. in a primary level as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think you need to concern with not only the to set the sitting position, but also you need to make sure mm -hmm. if you have a pitch assistant, you mm -hmm. can maybe he or she can help you mm -hmm. to make sure with that. Because someone, the students are hyperactive and then they cannot uh, sit properly in mm -hmm. a proper position. So they can fall down and it's so dangerous because as I know Global Islamic School is a benefit school, so the parents <laughs> can bring, <laughs> was it, was it, can complain to the teachers <laughs> as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it, uh, Miss Dwi. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, Mr. Hari. So, yeah, I do agree with you, sir. Yeah, you, saw if there is. Um, yeah, this kind of student, uh, someone will accompany him or her. However, as we know in our PPL, we don't, uh, we cannot have, uh, what's that? We cannot have other teacher inside our video, right? So only us uh, in the teaching learning process or in the video. So yeah, at that time, uh, the teacher only helps uh, at the beginning. Uh, yeah, because, yeah, yeah, so usually, yeah, usually uh, the other teacher will help if uh, the student uh, likes to, that if the student uh, disturb, disturbs other, however, yeah, in our PPL, uh, we do not, we cannot have it, and usually in our school, uh, if this kid or if there is a kid that uh, really need what's that really need help uh, there will be shadow teacher as well sir so 
ya yeah, uh, shadow teacher will uh, accompany the student and also guide the student as well uh, i think this student uh, is not uh, inclusive student for this energetic student only uh, needs what's that yeah bonding only needs uh, yeah only needs bonding because when i ask the student to uh, like yeah like uh, being the operator in was that ai a thing uh, so he really like and then uh, they and then he becomes uh, more disciplined because i give was that things that uh, he like being gadget right so yeah thank you so much mr harry for the suggestion and also for the question Okay, I guess one participant uh, really got a longer time uh, to explain the student worksheets and then also giving the uh, feedback. That's a good one. I'm going to pick one more. Or... That's why don't choose me, sir, next time. <laughs> okay. May um, I ask you... Mr. Ian? Okay, come on, come on, Ms. Nirmayla. Yes. Uh, thank you so much for Mr. Yans and also Ms. Dewey, uh, that's a good uh, what is it, presentation, right? Because a lot of uh, students' behavior in your case. Uh, yes, uh, but uh, for the first, I want to ask to Ms. Dewey, uh, sorry, to Ms. Dewey, uh, have you ever, what is it, conducts a test to classify the students' likes uh, uh, best on the learners like audio learner and then visual learners and a board of audio and a visual learner and then a kinesthetic learner. Have you ever conducted tests to classify? Yes. The learners? Yes, uh, Miss Nurmaila. Okay. Miss Myla. Yes, mm -hmm. I have because before this in the first cycle, I <clears throat> used differentiated instruction uh, in mm -hmm. my first cycle so mr ian knows that uh i uh had that kind of thing uh yeah because yeah because of the problem in the classroom however after i do uh the what's that uh the method uh, the differentiated instruction uh i i think i uh should what's that give more action so before this, uh, the first I see from the psychology test. So uh, before we have the students in the grade one, actually we have observation, uh, not test, sorry. It's psychology observation. So uh, we have the result, uh, the teaching learning process, sorry, the learning style. Okay, the psychology test that uh you yeah, use to yeah. classify your yeah. students the, in class yeah. audio. Okay. Yeah, audio and then uh physical audio, visual, and then visual, kinesthetic, okay, as well the as the cognitive development, uh the academic, uh thing. So we have diagnostic tests in the beginning in the first uh year and then it's uh i have already uh, asked to the psychology that two years is still it's still uh the same i mean uh it's still valid uh, for the mm -hmm. learning style of uh, first and the second year so i see actually i've already seen uh, from the learning style in the psychology result okay it's a, such a good uh, what is it a uh, things that uh I, you have to do for classifying uh, your students miss dewey but yeah. uh, based on my based on my opinions that relates my experience because i also have a kinesthetic kids okay not not my students but my kids okay but maybe it's a, just a simple just a simple uh, suggestions but i i don't know it's a uh, can uh, be applied uh, for your students who uh born who was born in Mel Melbourne or not. I I don't know, but I just 
give a little suggestions, Miss. Uh, based on my uh, what is it experience that I have a uh, uh, what is it uh, kinesthetic kids, I give my kids with a simple projects, and then my my kids will will focus uh, on his uh, preference projects, and then. Uh, what is it? Um, my kids will will what is it? Will uh will do uh effectively with this this projects and then maybe with your students who was uh what is it? Who was born in Mel Melbourne and then he he has energetic students and maybe you can uh, give uh him uh, a chance uh in uh what is it? In a group as a leader. So maybe maybe uh. uh uh, it will makes him uh, likes uh what is it uh yes this is it's me it's me something like that M make him as a leader in a small group on in your class maybe maybe like that because your students in Melbourne uh has a good a good English than others right because the daily uh, language that uh he, uh, uh he used is English. Maybe like that, and also, uh, what is it? Give give him uh projects, projects uh learnings. To make uh your students focus and also uh what is it? Yeah, they they enjoy uh he enjoy their their learnings because uh I mean, he has a difference uh, uh what is it? Typical learnings in Indonesia. I mean like that, Miss Dewey. Yes. Thank you. That's all, Miss. Okay. Thank you so much, Miss Myla. So yeah, as I said before, before this, I had a differentiated instruction and I gave project. Its project is about uh, making poster, about cleaning uh, the house, and then yeah, he he really enjoy. Uh, actually, he enjoy about it. So actually, uh, this one, uh, the kid enjoy the lesson however in some yeah when uh, he did the was that the teaching learning process on the math when there is explanation now uh, he tend to a uh, disturb friend but uh, i have actually miss myla uh give uh, i have a given project uh, and then I give responsibility to uh, as I said before I asked him to be the the operator of what's that uh, the game and the he game. really likes it and likes. his discipline and yeah and that that's uh, he kind yeah. of kinesthetic kinesthetic learners because when you yes. ask ask him yes. to operate the computers and operates and also leads the games uh, he really enjoy it right mm -hmm. yeah i do agree with you so uh, yeah he is one of kinesthetic uh, students so anyway there is no problem with kinesthetic student uh, however we as a teacher we should be more patient uh, so yeah i do agree with you miss myla and alhamdulillah i've already done it uh, in the first cycle and i will do it for the next cycle so uh, thank you so much miss myla for the suggestion yes thank you miss dewey okay i guess that's enough let's give a round of applause everyone for miss dewey and then also miss nur myla I guess time's up yet, and I don't even have a time to give a comment, to give uh, some kind of suggestions. Okay, I'm going to make it quick then. After this, I'm going to ask every single one of you here to take or to give a certain kind of uh, conclusions based on Ms. Chris's explanations, based on the questions from Mr. Harry and then also Ms. Uh, Nurmaila. Okay, a certain kind of the summary or a certain kind of the conclusions. Yeah, so uh, maybe around 10 seconds or 20 seconds, that should be enough, yeah? Okay, after uh, giving the uh, feedback for Ms. Dwi. Okay, Ms. Dwi Astuti Febriawati, based on your explanations, uh, to be honest, I don't really recall some kind of distinctions between the first cycle and then second cycle. It is all the same. It is all similar. Yeah? 
it is all similar the way that you take the literature review, the way that you conducted the interview, and then also, what is it? The way that you uh, try to create this in worksheet 1.2 or 1.3. Uh, what I'm expecting to be honest, you are going to write down the second cycle here, starting from uh, problem identifications, problem explorations, it will be in a different way. What I mean in different way, it should be more comprehensive. Comprehensive, not only imitating the previous first cycle, yeah, but they need you to make uh, some kind of, what is it, some kind of comparisons. Okay, this was the uh, student worksheet 1.2 that you have on your first cycle. And then this is the improvement on the second cycle. Okay, Miss Dewey, that will be my uh, sort kind of the feedback. And then next one, when you try to uh, list and then when you try to gather all the type of the problems that you really made on your student work sets, uh, if I'm not mistaken, day one, yeah, day one from the second cycle, I told you guys, please focus only on the problem that you guys willing to make as the uh, teaching practice activities, yeah? Because if you just concern on one student that was born in Australia, and then you can really make that one for the teaching practice, mystery, because it is only one student, okay? If your class majority, yeah, the students here, they was born in, Australia, so maybe you can use that one for the teaching practice, okay? But only for the identifications, only for listing the problem, I guess that should be okay. But you are not using that one for the teaching practice. Is that clear enough, Miss Dwee? Okay, okay, sir. So I will just, yeah, uh, yeah, because actually, because of one student, it influenced the other student. And yeah, okay, I will not uh, choose that uh, problem for the, uh, yeah, for one problem, yeah. Anyway, okay. sir, I okay, have wait a different- Wait a second, you're okay, it's not okay, yeah, Miss Dwee, you're mentioning, uh, okay, one student influenced the other. My concern here, your problem in your classroom, not only focus on one student, even okay. if it's your mentioning, gonna influence to all students in the class. Okay. So all, okay. all the things that you have to do okay. with the specific Melbourne students here, I guess you are going to have a different kind of the interactions, a different okay. kind of part. Yeah, try to separate the way that you are going to teach majority of your students with the Melbourne students. That's okay. it. Okay. Okay. What is it? That okay. You so anyway. Anyway, sir, please unpin us. Later, like yesterday, we are un we are pinned. You know, thank you. Okay, I'm really sorry. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Anyway, sir, it really different from the first one for cycle. Oh my god, how <laughs> what a this, this one, this one, this one is the first cycle. So should I Later, should I uh, make the uh, the comparison or how? Yeah, what I mean, when you created your second cycle for the student work city, at least try to make it different. It is all the same, yeah? The way that you try to take it from the uh, literature review, the result of your interview, it is all typical. It is all the same. What I mean by different on this second cycle, you are going to make it more improvement on it. Okay, so not only mentioning, for example, here you're mentioning the interview of head of research and development, the teacher should be blah 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 blah. So you're going to have another kind of elaborations. 
why this kind of research and development mentioning this kind of answer. That's what we call by another improvement in our students' words. Is that clear? But your face, it seems like you're still confused. What is it? Come on. What is it? Yeah. Is it? One, uh, yeah. So uh, right. what should I do, sir? For the last story, I uh, couldn't <laughs> absorb it. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, try to compare your first okay. cycle of student worksheets with the second cycle of students worksheets. So which one that you're going to improve? If on the first cycle, you're only mentioning all the common answers, for example, from the uh, resources, from the interview, for the second cycle, you're going to put more details based on the answer of the interview. That's what I mean by the improvement. And the next one, for the literature review, you can put not only, what is it? Not only uh, the original kind of the opinion from the book, from the article, uh, or from the experts, but you're gonna come also with your standing point. You agree or not yeah, with the opinion, with the resources that you read. That's what we call by the improvement. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, I can write down the uh, my opinion about the literature review and also the interview uh, in my conclusion, right? Okay. No, the con conclusion uh, in the last table, right? The last table. Okay. Not only the conclusion, because if it is the conclusion, so you yeah, are going to make the point from all the detail, literature review, and then also the result of the interview. What I mean, you're gonna put more details on the analysis based on literature review and the result of the interview. For the conclusions, you may make it more simple, that should be okay. As long as the details that you put on your uh, problem explorations, it is a complete one with additional kind of details compared to the previous per cycle. Got it? Okay. Okay, I guess that's okay. enough, yeah? Miss Dewey, because we're gonna get some 10 seconds of conclusion, key point, main point from all of the participants. Okay, one more time, everyone, let's give a round of applause for Miss Dewey's presentation for today, okay? Okay, 10 seconds or 20 seconds, only conclusions. Now let's try uh, to go with Miss Christina. The conclusions from Miss Louise and then also from the questions. 20 seconds only. Come on. Miss Christina. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so from the explanation from Miss Dewey, I can learn that um, what is this literature review and also uh, interview can help us to what is this to support the problem that we have already decided. And then it also can get- Okay, thank you, that's enough, it. that's enough. That's 30 seconds. Now let's go with Miss uh, Mediana, 20 seconds also. Thank you, Miss Christiana. Miss Christiana. Come on, Miss Mediana. Okay, uh, <laughs> from the uh, from Miss Dwee's presentation, uh, I learned that uh, when you are going to decide uh, to make the problem for the, to to the explore more problem uh, for your teaching learning in this second cycle, you have to make sure that it's not uh, only the the minor problem. It should be the major problem that uh, influence your teaching learning process in the class. That's it, sir. You. That's a quick 20 seconds, yeah. That's it, thanks, Miss Mediana. Next, we're gonna go with Miss Yeni. Hello, Miss Yeni. Come on, Miss Yeni, 10 seconds. Come on, come on, Miss Yeni. The conclusion it will be 10 seconds starting from now. Come on, okay. I think my conclusion is same like what Miss Christina and Miss Mediana have, yeah. Uh, we learned, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we uh. Uh, we have to pay attention not only to one student, yeah, but uh, yeah, find other uh, problem also. Yeah, I guess only that what I can say. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank, thank you. you, Miss Yeri. Next, we go with Miss Ratna. Ten seconds also, come on, Miss Ratna. 
Oke, okay, uh, for uh, Miss Dwi presentation, as teacher, we must condition the students before starting the learner. Oke, okay, thank you, 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 Miss Ratna. Now let's go with Miss, uh, Mr. Iksan Munzakir. Mr. Iksan, you got 20 seconds. Come on, Mr. Iksan. My goodness. The thing with all of them, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. Ian, for the opportunity. Yes, okay, first. Uh, the point is just focus on the majority of the problem at your class. Mm -hmm. And the second part, be patient and understanding. Use the positive reinforcement for the whole data that you use in your second cycle. Thank you very much. Okay, that's uh, a quick 30 seconds. Thank you, Mr. Isan. Now let's go with Ms. Neneng. Ms. Neneng, 10 seconds, Ms. Neneng. Come on. I'm okay. being thorough. <laughs> Okay, sir, based on Miss Dewey's explanation, I think the teacher should know uh, what type of the students in learning style. Is that a kinesthetic learner or audio learner or, or audiovisual learners? That's okay. also. Okay, thank you. You get a focus mm -hmm. on this style of these students, learning style. Next, we're going to go with uh, Mr. Harry. Mr. Harry, 15 seconds. Come on, Mr. Harry. Yeah. The first one is regarding to the sitting position, and then the second one uh, about we need to concern not only to one student only, but for all students in our classroom. Okay, and thank you, one, Mr. Harry. Okay. <laughs> okay, now let's go with Mr. Ipong. Mr. Ipong, you okay, got me Miss... <laughs> Go on, Mr. Okay, Ipong. Miss Dwi. Keep doing your differentiated learning when you need to, to for the Melbourne students. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. That's a quick 10 seconds. Next, we have uh, Miss Wiwi. Miss Wiwi. Hello, Miss Wiwi. Come on. Your turn. 10 seconds, Miss Wiwi. Okay. She's not responding. Let's go with Miss Hello. Yes. Hey. Hey. My, my class is very gentle, hey. sorry sister. It's next circle, second circle, circle hey. Hey. to be good uh, approach. Hey. Hey. That's enough. Hey. 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 <laughs> so, so. Okay, thank you, Miss Vivi. Next, Miss Ade. Miss Ade, five seconds, Miss Ade, come on. Come on. Miss yeah, five seconds? Yeah. I cannot do anything in five seconds. Oh, Oh, the thing I remember about Miss Dewey presentation is to give pause after we talk. Of, uh, okay, thank you. Settings. To give a pause after we talk. That's a good one, Miss Ade. Massive thanks. Next, we have Miss Patia Nurmeida. Miss Patia, you got 10 seconds. Yes, sir. Okay, first of all, I want to say, Miss Dewey, you are very cool. And I think you not only focus on one student. Thank you, sir. Okay, do not focus only on, on one student. Okay, thank you, Miss Patia. And then next we have Miss Indra. Miss Indra, five seconds, Miss Indra. Five seconds, come on. Miss Indra? The important, uh, the, uh, the important thing, uh, sure. the thing of the important in this action, just okay. confuse and focus to all the students on the action on the classroom. Okay, what was classroom. that? Confusing focus to the students. I don't get it. Thank you, Miss Indra. Let's go with confused. Thank you so much, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Miss Rini. Sorry, sorry. Five seconds, Miss Rini. Five seconds. Five. Come on, Miss Rini. Okay. I just would like to say same with you, Mr. Ian. <laughs> yes. Ma yes, same with you, Mr. Ian. Same with your conclusion. Okay. <laughs> Five seconds. Okay, thank you. That's a wise kind of pick, I guess. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> next we have Miss Nanny Badila. Hello, Miss Nanny. Come on, you got yes. second, Miss Nanny. Yeah, I I agree with all of my friends in here. Okay. Uh, yeah, this Miss Dewey presentation is okay. Thank you. Sir. Okay, thank you. Agree. It is. It is the conclusions. Next, Miss Elita, come on, 10 seconds, Miss Elita. Hello, yeah, thank you. Uh, on Mrs. Dewey presentation, I think the teacher has to understand to the situation of the student. That's all. Okay. You could understand the student 
uh, situation. Thank you. Next, yeah. Miss Dindin. Hello, Miss Dindin. Five seconds. Hello. 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 Thank you, Miss Sofian. Okay. Miss Dewi is very good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Miss Dewi is very good. That's a good kind of conclusion. <laughs> Okay, next Miss Harry Purwati, ten second, please. Let's Miss have a coffee, yeah. Okay, Good so day, thank Miss you very much uh, from this uh, presentation from Miss V. Uh, I just want to say that I learn many things from her and learn from other friends about their opinion. Really, I just learn and listen and learn. Thank okay. you. Lesson learned. Thank you, Miss Ferry, Miss Harry uh, Purwati. Next, Miss okay. Olihatu Farida Tahir, five second. Come on. Yes, sir. Uh, we as teacher, uh, we must have innovative and creative learning way for our students. Okay, thank okay. you. Thank you, Tahir. Next, uh, we have Miss. Uh, anyone else? Miss Sri Sundari. Miss Sri Sundari. Five minutes, Miss Sri Sundari. Come on. Come on. Come on. Is best. Presentation today. Just <laughs> okay. Best presentation because she's the only one that presented the topic today. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Next, Miss Yes Soliha. Come on. Five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> okay. Come on. All right. So I think um for all of friends here, I do agree with your uh, suggestion and also opinion. And also I do agree with Miss Mediana conclusion. So I think that's it. Thank you. And thank you so much for Miss Dewey for your presentation. Okay. That's it. That was the easiest way. Agreed. The conclusions. Yeah. That's not even five seconds. Yeah. Thank you. Next we have Miss Vera. Hello, Miss Vera. Come on. Yeah, hello, sir. Okay, so I agree that we need to assess the situation <clears throat> before we make uh to assess or to uh uh to assess the situation, and then we cannot uh, we need to treat our student equally. Thank hello. you, Mister. Thank you. Treat your student equally. Next, uh, Miss Eka. Hello, Miss Eka. Yes, sir. Uh. Uh, for the for the first about the ice breaking and the second one about the make the clear instruction. You don't have to give students. us. Okay, keep oh. it. <laughs> okay, oh, because it's. I'm not mentioning the durations for you. <laughs> you can take one hour. <laughs> okay. One hour. Okay. Oh, go yeah, on. For the first about the ice breaking and then the second one about the we have to make clear instruction to our students and then I also do agree with all of this participant conclusion. Uh, that's a nice one. Next, Miss Siva Fauzia, come on. Miss Siva. Okay, today I got many information and the speaker today is really great. And all happy weekend. <laughs> okay, thank you. Next, Miss Linda. Hello, Miss Linda, come on. Hello, Miss. Hello, Mister. And first of all, I agree with your uh, with part. Okay, thank you. Here. That's enough. You agree with me. That's enough. Thank you. Yeah. Next, Miss Nurmaila. Come on, Miss Nurmaila. Your turn, please. Ten seconds of the conclusions. Come on. Keep spirit, Miss Dewi. Thank you so much for sharing. That's all. <laughs> Okay, that was an awesome kind of conclusions. Okay, guys, thank you very much for attending our weekend meeting for today. I hope after this one, you're going to discuss it deeply, comprehensively with Ms. Rusmi, and then try to learn many things from her experience as the senior teacher. Have a nice weekend with your wife, with your husband, with your kids, and then see ya on... Monday, I guess, yeah. And then the last, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much, everyone. Waalaikumsalam. Have a nice day.